Great day, everybody. Great day, everybody. Today is a wonderful day. All right, today's presentation, full faith and credit. Your documents carry its weight, evidence by the seals. Pay close attention. All right, so again, setting the foundation with the statutes at large, contents, admissibility in, e in evidence. Little and Brown's edition of laws and treaties, admissibility in evidence, supported by the public statutes at large, organization of the government in 1789 to March 3rd, 1845. Then you have the Articles of Confederation, Article 4, Section 3, full faith and credit. United States Constitution, Article 4, Section 1, full faith and credit. The state and territorial statutes and judicial proceedings, full faith and credit, supported by the United States statutes at large, of course. The state and territorial non-judicial records, full faith and credit, again, supported by the United States statutes at large. Okay, you guys, you already seen the previous multiple exhibits regarding sealing of instruments. Let's start connecting the dots regarding the previous videos listed below. Okay, please review the previous videos. Okay, it is very important that you watch the previous videos prior to watching this video. This is all part of a bill which will aid you accordingly. Remember, reverse engineering is the key. Should you have any questions or concerns, or comments, of course, you may email me at the following email address listed on the screen. Let's get right into it, you guys. All right, let me make sure you can see the screen here. This will be a short yet powerful video. This is aiding you in connecting the dots. Trust me, this is needed. <clears throat> so here we go, statutes at large, contents, admissibility, and evidence, 112, setting the foundation. You already know what it is. The United States statutes at large shall be Legal evidence of laws, concurrent resolutions, treaties, international agreements, other than treaties, proclamations by the president, and proposed or ratified amendments to the Constitution of the United States, therein contained in all the courts of the United States, the several states, and the territories and insular possessions of the United States. Followed by the Little and Brown's addition of laws and treaties, admissibility in evidence, again, 113, the addition of the laws and treaties of the United States published by Little and Brown shall be competent evidence of the several public and private acts of Congress and of the several treaties therein contained in all the courts of the law and equity and of maritime jurisdiction, <clears throat> excuse me, and in all the tribunals and public offices of the United States and of the several states without any further proof or authentication thereof. Moving forward, let's go back to the chart here. Okay, so that was, okay, we set the foundation. Now let's go to the public statutes at large, organization of the government in 1789 to March 3rd, 1845. And let's talk about the Articles of Confederation, Article 4, Section 3, full faith and credit, as well as the United States Constitution, Article 4, Section 1, full faith and credit. I'm gonna straight read it, showing you that it came from the documentation itself and not me. It's not hearsay on my part, but this is actual evidence. <clears throat> let's go. Okay, here we are, public statutes at large. All right, so let's scroll down. And again, you will find what? The Declaration of Independence, which we will talk about that at another time. Uh, the Articles of Confederation and the U.S. Constitution of the United States. Oh, I'm sorry, the Constitution of the United States, okay? So let's scroll down and let's verify right here, as you can see, Charles C. Little and James Brown, okay? Little and Brown's edition of law. This is evidence, everyone, this is evidence. All right, let's move forward here. Full faith and credit. Boom. So again, let me scroll up to the top so you can see for yourself. This is the Articles of Confederation. I'm going to what? Article 4, Section 3. Okay. Full faith and credit shall be given in each of these states to the records, acts, and judicial proceedings of the courts and magistrates of every other state. Okay? That's number one. Let's go to number two. Again, this is the U.S. Constitution. Let me go ahead and prove that to you. The Constitution of the United States right here. All right. Article 4. Full faith and credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. And, and the Congress may, by general laws, not special laws, prescribe the manner in which such acts, records, and proceedings shall be proved and the effect thereof. Okay? Great. So let's make our way back to the chart. So I've just read this portion to you. Everything here that I'm reading is backed by the United States Statutes at Large, Little and Brown Edition of Law, Public Statutes at Large, Organization of the Government in 1789 to March 3rd, 1845. As you can see, as you can see, that is the information that's located within said document is the Articles of Confederation, Article 4, Section 3, Full Faith and Credit, as well as the United States Constitution, 
Article 4, Section 1, full faith and credit. Let's move forward. Okay, so we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be reading from the state and territorial statutes and judicial proceedings, full faith and credit. Let's go to it right now. Make sure you can see the screen. Yes. State and territorial statutes and judicial proceedings, full faith and credit. The acts of the legislature of any state, territory, or possession of the United States or copies thereof shall be authenticated by affixing the seal of such state, territory, or possession thereto. You guys already know what that means. I'm going to continue to read. The records and judicial proceedings of any court of any such state, territory, or possession or copies thereof shall be proved or admitted in other courts within the United States and its territories and possessions by the attestation of the clerk and seal of the court annex, if a seal exists, together with the certificate of a judge of the court that the said attestation is in proper form. Moving forward. Such acts, records, and judicial proceedings, or copies thereof, so authenticated, shall have the same full faith and credit in every court within the United States and its territories and possessions as they have by law or usage in the courts of such state, territory, or possession from which they are taken. Okay, let's go to the next one. 1739, state and territorial non-judicial recorded, I mean records, full faith and credit. All non-judicial records or books kept in any public office of any state, territory, or possession of the United States or copies thereof shall be proved or admitted in any court or office in any other state, territory, or possession by the attestation of the custodian of such records or books and the seal of his office annex, if there be a seal, together with the certificate of a judge of a court of record of the county, parish, or district in which such office may be kept, or of the governor, or secretary of state, the chancellor, or keeper of the great seal, of the state, territory, or possession that the said attestation is in due form and by the proper officers. Okay, you guys? Think about it. Kept in any public office of any state, territory, or possession of the United States, in any public office, okay? Admitted in any court or office in any state, in any other state, sorry, territory or possession by the attestation, etc. Okay, let's move forward. If the certificate is given by a judge, it shall be further authenticated by the clerk or proto notary, I mean, proto -notary of the court, who shall certify under his hand and the seal of his office that such judge is duly commissioned and qualified, or if given by such governor, secretary, chancellor, or keeper of the great seal, it shall be under the great seal of the state, territory, or possession in which it is made. Such records or books or copies thereof, so authenticated, shall have the same full faith and credit in every court and office within the United States and its territories and possessions as they have by law or usage, again, by law or usage, two different things, by law, or usage in the courts or offices, in the courts or offices. See, it doesn't have to only be the courts, you guys. That's what I've been stressing for the past couple of videos. In the courts or offices of the state, territory, or possession from which they are taken. Okay, done. All right, so you guys, I went ahead and provided you the proof in regards to what we just spoke about here. Let me go back to the document here. Let me make sure you can see it. All right, so again, let's go ahead and um, I, I urge you to watch the previous videos, number one, two, and three, but let's go ahead and scroll down here and talk about this part here. Okay, so it's time to clear your mind and focus. Please review the following list. Certificate of live birth, certification of birth, social security account card, marriage certificate, miscellaneous non-judicial records, I'm sorry, recordings, judicial proceedings, state issued certificates slash documents, State issued licenses, passport, notarized documents slash notarial authentication, annex documents, apostille documents, certificate of titles, agency attestation documentation, custodian of records documents. Basically, the keeper of the great seal. Okay, so don't look at this in an exclusive legislative jurisdiction point of view regarding the items that were named. Keep it simple. The main point is that whether or not the following items above carry seals, and if so, are they entitled to full faith and credit? If they are entitled to full faith and credit, what proof supports said claim? What, what does this mean for you, and how are you able to capitalize on said claim? Think about it. Instrument slash document, et cetera, plus seal equals full faith and credit. Okay? 
So this is backed by what? Everything we just spoke about, it's supported by. Showed you statutes at large, showed you the Little and Brown's edition of laws, etc. Showed you the state and territorial statutes and judicial proceeding with the United States statutes at large. I showed you the state and territorial non-judicial records for fifth and credit in conjunction with the statutes at large. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. Make sure you can see the screen here. True or false? Full faith and credit. All right. Let's take a look at another one. This one is the POA combined with the certificate of live birth recorded into the county recorder's office. Let's move forward. True or false? Full faith and credit. So I certify that the document here in two annex is under the seal of the states of Florida, plural, and that such seals, plural, is are entitled to full faith and credit. True or false? Seal is right here. Okay. Seal is right here. Fictitious name registration. Seal is right here. Again, another annexation. The seal is right here. The seal is right here. You already know what document this is. I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Let's find out some other instances. Okay. All right. See where it's been recorded. Seal is right here. Oh, another seal, full faith and credit. Hmm, what can I do with this one? Hint. See if I can find another one for you. Ah, security agreement. Recorded. In the amount of what? Ah, okay. See if we can find a seal. 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 Make sure this video is showing. I'm not sure you guys can see it. Ah, seal for the notary. Seal, full faith and credit. The security agreement is entitled to full faith and credit. Let's see if I have any more. Make sure you can see this. United States of America Securities and Exchange Commission attestation. Ribbon, seal, full faith and credit. Okay, let's move forward to the other one. These are just some of them, you guys. This is a different one, different name. Seal, full faith and credit. Okay, good. So that was basically, that's, that's basically it, you guys. So like I said, again, thank you so much for watching this video here. This is the full faith and credit. Your documents carries weight, evidence by the seals. Pay close attention. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email me at this address here, email address right here, okay? Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, this is to build on what we spoke about regarding the past three videos. This is extremely important, you guys. The next video you are, you are going to witness We'll go ahead and pull everything together, but it is up to you to brainstorm. It is up to you to conduct your due diligence and move forward. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.